Do you have school spirit? Yes. Yeah! Roll Tide, baby, come on. The University of Alabama is the state of Alabama's oldest public university and was founded in 1831. Since its founding, the university has been known for its beautiful campus. Its most iconic landmark is the bell tower, Denny Chimes. It was dedicated in 1929 and named after a previous president of the university. Our campus is home to nearly 40,000 students, with one of them being Allison John. What was your reason of coming to the University of Alabama? Definitely the scholarships. <laughs> the money all the way, and then like sports, you know, nice campus, stuff like that was after. Out of all the games you've attended, was there a specific game you loved? Why? Okay, yeah. Then the Tennessee game, because it was just like, you know, like two really good teams, and like it was SEC football, and like, it's not like that back in the West, I feel like, and so then it was a completely like new experience. It was like so fun, and the energy is like so high, and like I said, we ended up winning, which gives you a good feeling. What is your favorite football game tradition that you have witnessed? Why? Um, uh, probably singing Sweet Home Alabama. I think it's just so adorable, because it's like, that song before I came here, like, didn't really mean anything, but I feel like now, like, it's, like, gonna be, like, a part of, like, me, and, like, I'll always remember, like, these kind of moments when I, like, move on with life. UA has always been known for its school spirit. Do you think the class of 2027 is doing a good job in carrying on that Crimson Tide legacy? Why or why not? Yeah, I feel like there are freshmen at every event that I go to and it's just like so many freshmen with like super high vibes and like everyone just loves to go to sport events, at least like that I know and like all my friends. One legacy that has been around since 1930 is the elephant mascot. However, Big Al wasn't used as a mascot until the 1979 Sugar Bowl where he made his first debut. Another UA legacy is the campus newspaper called the Crimson White, which was the name of the original football team. Now here's the perspective of a professor at UA. Do you still attend the games as a graduate student? Why or why not? So, I actually attend more games now, more <laughs> events, because like, um, I just feel like maybe I like missed out like on going to actual games because I was like so into like the other parts. But I think like I have a more of appreciation like now for it, so that's I think why. What was your favorite school tradition at football games while you're undergrad an undergraduate student, and is it different now that you're graduate? It will forever be DC Land Delight. I mean, when they brought it back, like, it just, it will never change. It will always be Dixie Land Delight. Do you still feel as if you have the same amount of school spirit now as you did as an undergrad, and what is different and what is the same? Just knowing that, like, my time here is winding down, I'm appreciating it more. Um, and it is kind of exciting the way that football is going and the way that the team is going. Even though it stresses me out, it is, like, it, it is exciting. It does bring that element back that I think only the University of Alabama, like, football has. Football has been here for over a century and has grown in popularity ever since. UA is part of the SEC, a very competitive conference, which brings people from all over the U.S. to attend the games. UA football is very important to our history and our future, and we encourage future students to carry on our traditions. People who attend UA can attest to the fact that the school spirit here is unmatched compared to any other campus. Roll Tide!